Man, what it do, gang? Back at it again with another video, man. You know what I'm saying? If you haven't done so already, man, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn the bell on. That way you'll get notified every time I drop one of these videos, man. Uh, Y'all see I'm in the Crown Vic today, man. I'm in my little daily, man. But, uh, yeah, man. So, I ain't even go clickbait. I ain't even go, you know what I'm saying? I ain't even go uh, BS around with y'all, man. The title. My Hellcat is down right now, man. It's down right now. So, um, I was having some fuel issues, man. I was having some fuel issues. So what happened was, um, since I did the mods, I still had the stock fuel system. Now, which is fine, I guess, you know what I'm saying? Depending on how much fuel you want to push and you know what I'm saying? Your, your intentions for your build. Uh -huh. The modification that I did do to the car, um, I was still on the stock fuel system besides the injectors. The injectors was the only thing fuel related that I uh, that I had put on. Now, uh, the car was running fine at first, man. And, you know, when you go down smaller pulley, big injectors, you are going to, you know what I'm saying, use more fuel. And that's what I did, man. I ended up using more fuel. And so my stock fuel pump decided that it wanted to go out. Now, a lot of people I know with these upgrades, man, they get the uh, Kenny Bell, not Kenny Bell, well, uh, well, the booster pump, which I do have, by the way. I just didn't hook it up yet, but I do have the Kenny Bell booster pump. Um, and then they go with the uh, either the, the dual fuel pumps from High Horse Performance or the dual fuel pumps from um, Dustin Hoffman Tune-In and I uh, think Four Innovations Fuel Systems. I know I didn't want to run E85, and that's the only, I mean, I, well, I want to run E85 in the future, but I, don't, I ain't want to run E85 right now. So, and it's so expensive for Hellcats to go E85, man. I just left the gym, too. That's why I got the hoodie on. But uh, it's so expensive for Hellcats to run E85, dog. You got to upgrade the injectors, and you have to upgrade the uh, the fuel pumps. So, together, just the injectors and the fuel pump is like, like $3,000, man, almost. So um, I went with the FIC 1200 injectors. That's what's in there now. Um, and I'm still running on 93 Octane. Um, so I ended up having this, um, let me see, can I show y'all the code, man? This code kept popping up, man. Let me see if it's still on there. Um, hold on. So now it's saying no codes available. All right, so, but anyway, um, the code that was popping up was the P062A. I'm pretty sure if I crank this card right now and let it run, man, uh, it'll pop back on. Um, but I can't turn it on right now because uh, I got some fuel connections disabled right now. But as you can see right now, just say the fuel pressure is at 53. Now, it was just at 44 the other day when I got the check engine light. And that's why I got my gauges right here because I can see fuel pressure and all that. IATs, but what happened was I was driving and I started to notice that my fuel pressure was dropping. Uh, idling, it was like 44. You can see it's dropping now. You know what I'm saying? And the car is only in the run position. But you know, uh, I was the car was idling at like 44 psi. Now a normal Hellcat is supposed to idle around 55, 56 psi, and mine was at 44. And then you accelerate you can see that the fuel pressure starts to go down. And if you try to go wide open throttle, then you also will see that it's gonna stall out because it's starving for fuel. I was doing my research, going online to the forums, talk to my tuner, you know what I'm saying? And uh, a lot of these codes are common with these fuel systems in these cars, man. So, you know, doing my research and talking to my tuner, it was one of the two things. So, well, three things, really. Either my fuel pump needed replacing or the fuel pressure sensor in my fuel rail was going bad. And some people were just saying, check your electrical connections on your pigtail, that go, that's the, the connector to the fuel pump and all that. Um, but yeah, all that was good. So I was like, okay, well, it'll just be cheaper to just replace the fuel pump. So I got an extended warranty on my car. I got a new fuel pump and it was a brand new fuel pump. Um, it was super easy to put in, man. I was going to record a video, but 
I was just sick. So at that point, I just wanted to go ahead and put it in. Um, so I put the new fuel pump in there and the car was running great. You know what I'm saying? The car was running, the car was running excellent, man. And then for like two weeks, and then all of a sudden, um, I got that cold again and I started to see my fuel pressure drop again. So I was like, all right, well, I just put a brand new fuel pump in. So I know it's not the fuel pump. And so the next thing was to um to go ahead and try to do the um the fuel pressure sensor. Now the only thing about this car, let me show y'all. The fuel pressure sensor on these Hellcats is all the way behind the supercharger and you can't just replace the sensor yeah that's the part that's so you have to replace the entire fuel rail watch this so as you can see man those are the injectors i'm running the fic 1200s right these are the stock fuel rails you know what i'm saying you got some on each side i can't show y'all too much ah, but look now you got some on each side right so see this right here this line is the line that goes to the fuel pressure sensor. And as y'all can see, man, it's all the way behind the uh it's all the way behind the, the supercharger. Um and if you come to this side, that right there, that little thing right there, right there with the blue little clicks, that is the fuel pressure sensor right there. I don't know y'all can see it, but yeah, that's the fuel pressure sensor back there. Now from what I was told, in order to take this off, you don't have to remove the whole entire lid of the supercharger. Um, I think you can just remove the brace in the plastic cover right here um, on the car that's behind it. But um, I'm not about to mess with it, man, because um, now I did put my injectors in myself. Well, at first I had 1050s. I ain't going to count. I had 1050s first. When I first did my stuff, man, but then, you know, for other reasons, I wanted to go bigger injectors, so I went with the 1200s, and I sold the 1050s. So I got the FIC 1200s in there right now, man. So um, so what I ended up doing was going with the four innovation high-pressure fuel rail system. So um, I ended up getting with my tuner, man. Shout out to Eric uh, at Team Hellcat. EMP performance. It comes with the whole kit, man. The rails, the sensor, the uh, uh the the uh, connector kit, the plug into the OEM harness, all that, and it's uh capable of supporting, I think, eleven hundred wheel horsepower. Not that I got eleven hundred wheel horsepower. Speaking of that, man, I need some more tires, man. Let me show y'all something real quick. I took these tires off my car. The last race y'all seen me do with the GT five hundred, man. These were the tires I was running. And if y'all can see that video, y'all saw how I was sliding all over the place. This is why. These tires were on their last leg. And I did not know that, bro. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't really tripped, bro, because I ain't want people to say, oh, you making excuses, blah, blah. No idea what it is, man. You win, son, you lose. The four innovation high-pressure fuel rails um, tomorrow, they should, they, I had them overnighted, so they should be here tomorrow. Um... Uh, take about three hours to get them on my entire fuel system has been replaced so i got the again i got the well only thing that's still stock is my oem fuel pump and considering the type of gas i'm running right now and all the extra additives that's still fine you know what i'm saying per my tuner so i got the stock oem fuel pump but i have the kenny bell booster pump to help give it the voltage that it need to send to the fuel injectors and whatnot uh, so stock OEM fuel pump, Kenny Bell booster pump, FIC 1200 injectors, uh, and then the four, the four innovation high pressure fuel rails with the whole kit. This is what I, look, mm. this is a big dry cell. You know what I'm saying? So once I get all that put on, man, I can go ahead and, uh, put this one piece dry cell in and get on the track. And I encourage, man, anybody who has a Hellcat, man, do not put your car on that track without changing that drive shaft. Because if you do, if you do, it's going to end up just like this. Just like this. All right, man. So, as you can see, I already took it out the package a little bit, man. But uh, this is what it looks like. The four innovation high-pressure fuel rail. And that's just the lines right there. 
These are the actual steel, and they heavy too, bro. Like this is some, like, some pretty good material. You can see right there for innovation. Um, put that right there. Oh shit. And then that's the other one. I ain't gonna really take it out. And these right here, man. Um, these like the little adapters and whatnot. Um, that go from the end of the rails, boom, right there, that connect the other end of the hoses, boom. And uh, so, yeah, man. So I'm, I was gonna do it myself, bro, but honestly, man, I don't even really feel like it. It's hot outside. I got a, a connect at the uh, the shop, man, this performance shop. So I'm gonna go take the car to them and let them put it on, so. All right, man, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start the car. I'm about to take it to the shop, and I'm gonna show you, well, let's see. I don't know if it's gonna do it. I'm gonna try to see the cold pop back up, and I'm gonna let y'all monitor the fuel pressure, but here we go. Give it a little clear to come on. trying to monitor it man but you know i'm hoping the cold will pop back up but as of right now <clears throat> it's not popping back up but it's like the field pressure keep fluctuating man like as you see like now like i let my foot off and it'll go down and then go back up so right now it's doing it but i, I don't know man this is, uh, it might just do when I drive it. Like, see, now that I get a little gas. You know what I'm saying? Then once I get off, it'll go back to, you know what I'm saying? So, what, like, like right now, since I'm off the gas, it's supposed to be at like 55, 56, 57, or something like that, but not 53. So, I can tell that the pressure sensor is not. I don't know, it might be the pressure sensor, man, but see how it was out in that 60 when I left the house. Now it's at 57. So when I hit the gas, we'll see, man, but let me see, hold on. Cause I can't drive like that. Well, I see how I drive down to 40s and that's like, like low 50. Like, like, you know, not, not that my foot is off the gas, it's still supposed to be around 56, 57. So I think once I like, once I drive, cause I was driving the car fine. Like I was driving it like a whole bunch of time. Now I'm getting together. You know what I'm saying? And it dropped down to 40, now it's low 50s. So like now see my foot out here on the gas no more. It don't supposed to be that low. It's supposed to be like, like 55 and higher. So, but well, man, we're going to see, man. Hopefully this fixed the issue, but yeah, we'll see. All right, man. If you watched my older video about when I got my first performance modification done in the car, you know I had it done here at Gray's Automotive, man. Um, what's this they got in the window, though, man? It's like a, uh, a Shelby old school. Like, uh, I don't know, we gonna go in there and see, though. We're going in there and see. Two. Yeah. <laughs> Five, seven, two, big block. Man. Oh, I see he got the on, on the side right there. Oh. Is it open? Yeah, it's open. Oh, see, it is open. Ooh. Man, you see all type of switches and gauges, and he got the high flow shift in here. Damn. It's pretty nice for them, man. Ooh, wee. Mm, mm, mm. Got the headers on there. y'all man Ooh, look at it look at it. i know y'all see that man i know y'all see it so boom 
Got the Ford Innovation High Pressure Fuel Reel, man. Gotta keep the camera up here because y'all know it. But, um, man, it look good, man. Y'all can see them injectors sitting down there. Hey, shout out to Team Hellcat, man, for 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 just for giving me everything I need. Eric at EMP and Team Hellcat, man. Hey, y'all the goats, man. But, yo, man. Man, y'all see I'm smiling for either of man. I got my car fixed, got my car back right, man. So, um, yeah, man, hey, it ain't really too much to talk about, man. Hey, I got my baby back. I'm finna go put on the road, and you know what I'm saying? That's gonna be that, man. So, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here, man. But, um, y'all make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Y'all ain't really did so, man. Hit the notification bell, and then that way you'll be notified every time I drop one of these banging, man. Meantime, between time, man. Y'all make sure y'all do that, man. Holla big at your boy. You feel me?